course is very practical, so you could start opening this package that's in front of you. The Arduino is a little programmable board that you can put code onto and connect electronic components to, so you can make it do things, respond to things in the world. I don't know the first thing about technology. I wanted to learn more, and it sounded really interesting. I had been to a previous workshop on uh, programming, and I'm very interested in, uh, in using this as my uh, line of work when I grow older. It's teaching you all kinds of things around design, critical thinking, looking at the interaction in the room, and how you can get a device to be involved and respond to that. So could you change the speed that the LED flashes at? Okay. Do it and upload the code to the board. This morning we took the young people through using the software to program the little chip on the board to get it to do things, to blink lights, to read switches that were connected to it so when they pressed the button something happened. Well the first exercises were very simple, it was just getting familiar with the, the circuit boards knowing what it did. We just had to plug only very little wires in. It's actually really simple, even though it looks like something really intricate and complicated. So code is, is just a, really a list of instructions that we're giving the board, the things that we want it to do. I didn't know what a code was, and when I had a look at it on the computer, it seemed really confusing, but um, it does actually make sense if you just look at it step by step. The language of Arduino is is very easy to pick up compared to uh, a few other languages and it's very easy to learn. Um, I've, I've never used it before and, and it was quite intuitive. This afternoon we moved on to slightly more complicated stuff where we had motors, things called servo motors, that will move to a certain angle um, that you can again control with the board. So we, need to have a well, we made a graph by connecting the tensiometer to the motor, which would, when you turn it, would make this line go up and down. We were doing something on the board and that was making something happen on the computer. We're now doing something on the computer that's making something happen on the board. When you move the mouse over this gradient, it would make the light on the board glow and fade out. Oh, yeah. It's quite fun. <laughs> and um, it's sort of connecting it all yourself is really interesting, yeah, just sort of thinking, you know, I did this. Finally, we made, we connected a buzzer to the Arduino board and using certain codes made sounds. And I just managed to play around with that to change the note values and the pitch. And then people had some time just to play around and get it to do things that they were interested in. Well, once you understand it, it gets more interesting because you can make your own uh, circuits. So towards the end, you can design whatever you want and uh, you don't uh, have to follow the rules. I'm trying to work on making a little electronic keyboard with uh, lights and sounds, which is a bit more challenging than I, than I previously thought, but lots of fun either way. <laughs> it's nice to see people who aren't afraid to just have a go at plugging it in and see what happens. It's been fantastic. It's been uh, really fun, really intimate. There aren't that many students. So I've met new people and they're all my age, so oh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. it's fun. I've learnt a lot. I mean, it's, it's been really good. I thought they did brilliantly. I thought it was great. There was really exciting, buzzy atmosphere. Uh, we had to push people out of the door at the end. They were kind of hanging around, didn't want to leave their creations behind, which is always a promising sign.